Hey, I'm Bowen and we're here at Papa to play some full throttle. This is the very first game from Highway Pinball out of England. It is fast, it has a six ball multi ball that we'll hopefully get to, and some interesting rules that are reminiscent of uh, great games from the 90s. Uh, some solid work went into this. It's hard to believe this is the very first game from a brand new manufacturer, and let's fire it up. So, you are the rookie who thinks he can take my title? How <laughs> ridiculous you are! <laughs> right from the beginning there's a skill shot by holding in the left flipper to rev your engine and uh, then flip pushing the launch button when it's in the yellow or amber area right in the middle. That's the skill shot and then you have a super skill shot which is an instant shot to any of the right loop shots. Right ramp and there's a little bit of a, of a grace period on it so I got the super skill shot there. The benefit of getting the super skill shot besides more points is you also get a gear. A gear is a play field multiplier for 10 seconds and you can activate that whenever you want to. You can also get gears by shooting enough bumpers. So you might see the gear grow from two to three to four maybe and that would mean that that 10 second multiplier when it's finally activated would be worth 3x or 4x play field instead of 1x. You light lock by hitting either of the green targets and then you cash in your lock by shooting the loops, the right loop there or the left loop there <laughs> or not the posts in between. There it is. So Magnum will grab the ball there, drop it in the lock. Three locks is multi-ball. Pretty standard rule there and a little reminiscent of Whitewater and that the green lock targets make that happen. Uh, and as you go towards later multi-balls, the, the white water rules of having to hit both targets start to play into effect. One of the other major goals is to play races and a hole in the middle will start a race. Typically that shot for only from the left flipper. Um, so let's, get, let's see if we can get a race started. That's an important shot as well, the backhand into the inner loop. A lot of players playing full throttle think you can only make that shot from the left flipper, but it's actually easier from the right. And let's see what we're doing in a race. In a race, you make four of any shot, any red flashing shot, sorry, not any shot, and they will advance you in the race. You only have 30 seconds and the value counts down, so it's important to get these done quickly and accurately. Each, each successful shot is worth more than the previous, so you want to make these well, make them quickly. After four shots, the center spinner lights for the completion of the race. So I have only a little bit of time left, but was able to pull it off. And that's, you get a good bunch of points from that. You typically get around 10 million from a completed race, and it's very satisfying. You do not earn progress towards the stunt challenges during those, those races. The five stunt challenges are available throughout the game otherwise. And stunt challenge, you start by shooting the captive ball. The moto challenge is the ramps. The drag challenge is the spinner. The circuit challenge is the inner loop. And the street challenge is the orbit. Completing five of any of those shots will start a multi-ball. And you can stack those multi-balls. Ideally, you want to because you will get significantly more points from stacking them as it multiplies the value of the jackpot as well. So keep an eye on these five numbers. And ideally, you want all five numbers to reach zero simultaneously by starting one challenge and bringing the others in. So as you're shooting, keep an eye on these and try not to let any of the numbers get too high or too low compared to one another. I've noticed, especially for me, I tend to ignore the captive ball and then I find myself needing captive balls and nothing else. So this is a good place to be, 4-4, four, 3-3-3. Four, three, three, three. Let's make a couple ramps here, pass it over, maybe get a stunt challenge going. You also want to work towards the next race by completing the race lanes. I blew it there by shooting the right ramp and forgetting to lane myself so that I could pick up a new letter and race. All right, so this is really not ideal position, but it's a pretty good position to be in to have all, all these numbers at three. Uh, and a tough right outlane area on this game. And we've pulled the posts on the right as well, so it's even worse than usual, but I find I lose most of my balls on that right side. The left side is uh, unusual. You have to watch for the A. The A will sometimes kick into the outlane, and you can save a ball off of that, that, in, that lane in between. But it's not easy. All right, let's see if we can get another super skill here. No, nope. don't think I got it, but I did get the garage. And shooting the, gar the garage or garage or whatever they're calling it these days. 
uh, that will give you the lock and you can shoot that from either loop, the right loop or the left or neither. I like the right loop, although it's a very difficult shot to get used to. Once you figure it out, you kind of get it. And unfortunately, I've played my way into the, uh, the, uh, the circuit challenge by missing the, by missing the right loop three times. And what I'm trying to do actively do now is start one of the other challenges so I can get myself out of two ball play and into three ball play. And there it is, three ramps there. We'll put another ball into play. And now I'm working on scoring jackpots, but I'm actually spending more time working on trying to get more challenges completed and ready. And you can tell from the numbers, the drag is the three. Now that should have put it at two, but I guess it did not, didn't notice. Uh, Counted as a street there, okay. All right, so now there are five balls in play. The values are big. I don't have a uh, gear yet. Now I do, so I'm doubling the play field by pushing the launch button, and everything is double value with lots of jackpots ready to go. So this is where your score can really grow fast. But uh, I haven't made, I haven't put a lot into it. But 5.6 million for that jackpot, and it looks like my time is out. I am down to three balls in play. Get that other ball kicked out of there. Now I've got another doubler. All right, let's use it again. Double play field again. And you'll notice my score that was, it was started at, uh, started this multi-ball around uh, 20 million, I think. And we're at uh, 75, there's a 12 million jackpot. There is a 12 and a half million jack. We've now started the drag race and all five challenges are underway now. This is, uh, and now we can, let's talk briefly about what's happening during the challenges and the, and the um, bronze challenge cups and other challenge cups that you're awarded. During this multi-ball, every shot you make is giving you points towards that challenge. So I have five stunt points, that's from shooting the captive ball, four moto points by shooting the ramps, one drag point by shooting the, uh, shooting the spinner, circuit for the right loop, and uh, street from the orbits. If you achieve a certain number of points, you will earn a trophy, a third place bronze, a second place silver, a first place gold trophy. Uh, the different challenge levels require a certain number of points, so let's see if I can make another ramp here and give myself a better cup. Oh, and by the way, that was seven and a half million because I'm playing all five challenges at once. This is where the biggest points in the game is. You can see the score has gone over 200 million already. This multi-ball started at 20 million. Also, pretty badass song, I gotta say. Um, with balls on the left, if you've got lots of balls on one flipper, the, ob the objective now is to get one ball off and leave the other two in place. So let's uh, backflip this and see if you can bounce it off of the octane targets. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. The goal there was to bang it off of these octane targets to the right flipper, let's try it again. Or you can also do an over under, which is you flip one ball just a little bit, and that did not work either. So let's see if we can do better with this. Stay up. All right, so two balls on the left, I can do that. Keep one ball on my flipper and move the other ball to the other side. And that's a kind of a panic flip there to do that where one ball is out of control, you're like, oh, I can just use the other one. After completing all five challenges, whether you do them at once like I did or you do them in general, it will light the final challenge. And in the final challenge, you will earn jackpots on all those shots again based on the medal you got during the challenge multi-ball. You also earn points during the multi-ball just for achieving that, uh, that threshold. So you get points for getting a bronze, bronze, bronze plaque uh, or whatever, bronze medal, I don't know. A uh, bronze cup, that's what it is. Uh, but you will also earn points during the final challenge besides. So let's go into final challenge. If we can make that, that would be nice. And there it is. So final challenge will set me up to start a six ball multi-ball. And it'll first remind me of all of the cups that I won. I won a silver medal cup for the left ramp, the ramps, uh, bronzes on the others, drag race, I didn't complete any. Uh, this is pretty good. Um, and the value of each shot during this multi-ball is based on the, the value of those cups. The object here is to make all five shots 
and after making all five, they will relight. So you pay careful attention if you get into final challenge to what is lit. There's also a long ball saver, so there's really no reason to do what I was doing there, which is hold on to all the balls. Although once that ball saver runs out, you'll wish you had. And take stock of where you are. I still need a left ramp, and I need a left loop, so let's make the left ramp for six million, the left loop for four, I believe. And if you do make all of the shots, you will get them all back lit again at a slightly higher value. I think it goes up by about 25% uh, each time. Oh, geez. So it's dangerous here to push that ball off, as you just saw. I could have easily lost that ball, and I've lost another one the other way. So I'm kind of preferring the, the sort of over-under. But the shot I need is on the left side. I'd like to kind of bump this up and see if I can push this over. And once again, it's really not working so well for me on trying to get transfers. And some of that is the, the flippers, some of that is just not really being used to the, the geometry on this machine. So after making them all, they light up again and now they are worth an additional value. So here I will try to pick off the highest valued ones, the moto, or I'll try to pick off the ones that can give me a, an easy return to the same flipper. So here I'm just waiting. I want that ball back, I want it to my flipper so I can make a new decision. Shoot the spinner. Oh man, I bricked that. But just being patient here pays off. Be very patient. And you can pick up lots of extra points. Oh, I was trying there to, to get the other ball to hit that ball, but that's the end of the, mul the challenge multi-ball, the final challenge. And we've gone into red mist. You get red mist by shooting enough of the inner loops throughout the game, which uh, gives you a 30 seconds unlimited ball save time to just score, score, score. The value of, that you're scoring during this time is based on the speed and you increase your speed by making shots. So, oh, I'm sorry. I, for whatever reason, I, was, I had the impression you couldn't lose your ball during red mist, but you can. <laughs> and I have. Uh, so uh, that was a really good ball, uh, mostly from the final challenge and the, the five-way challenge multi-ball. So let's work on some other goals. We're going to work on the, ra the main multi-ball, and we'll also show you high octane and another race. Those are the other major goals. Remember to get the skill shot, hold in the flipper here till it's in the middle range, and then to get a super skill as it comes around, if it comes around, you have a few seconds to backhand. Ah, darn it, blew it there. But, it's not too big a deal to miss the super skill, but you get that opportunity to have a double play field gear. The challenges remain lit again, but they go up to six instead of five shots per challenge. They get harder and harder to achieve, but strategy-wise, it might be, given the way the last ball went, it might, might be good to go back and try to get challenges again. But I'm going to try to start uh, multi-ball and high octane. So there's two locks. High octane is, is lit by shooting the octane targets which are around the left and the right here, and then shooting the right loop to start high octane. And now here's the third lock for full throttle multi-ball. There are five jackpots lit there, and making all five will light the super on the spinner. I have seen some players jump the balls on purpose here because they'll go into the bumpers and give potentially enough bumpers for a gear. And I did not get enough bumpers for a gear, but I think it's actually a pretty decent, smart thing to do uh, during the multi-ball. Because if you can get one of those gears, you're talking about hitting double jackpots instead of single jack. Wow, that was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, I'm still having no luck finding my finding a way to push a ball from the left flipper to the right. That kind of worked, actually. All right, and then once you're here, you decide what shot to go for. So I'm going to go for that left loop. Missed it there. Ah, here's the multiplier that I was talking about. I want to save this until the multi ball's over. Uh, no, until uh, until the super jackpot. So the super will light if I get all five jackpots. So what I'm going to try to do is use that 10 seconds only when I'm about to become king of the mountain. But if I drain out of this, we can use it right away at that point or save it for a race or some other time. That was a very poor multi-ball. Well, let's use the double play field anyway and cash in a couple of jackpots during the grace period. 
Ah, that's unfortunate, but so it, so it goes. Wow, I only have 315 million. Uh, okay, well, let's get the garage back open and we'll relock the balls. To get the second multi ball, you have to shoot each of the light lock targets once to light the lock. So, again, I tend not to do this on purpose, it just kind of happens. I also feel the same way about starting races because, as you saw in the last ball, getting to challenges is more valuable points wise than getting to races. I mean, the races are super fun. But they're just not worth as many points as uh, that challenge multi-ball opportunity. And uh, the value continues to tick down as you go. But you also get to see where you are in a mode by who you've passed. This race is mine. And after four shots in any race, you will light the spinner to win the race. You can also add 10 seconds to the timer by shooting the captive ball. I tend not to do that, but uh, if you happen to hit it, then good for you. And the race is still worth about 10 million. Object is to get to all the races, so let's go for that, why not? Let's see how many races we can get to. To light a new race, you need to spell out the word race on the lanes. Three-way combo. Hey, a three-way combo, sweet. All right, where are we at here? We've got one lock target to light the next lock. And sometimes you can graze the target by a backhand, or you can uh, hit the target on a glancing blow. Ah, and there, if you want to save that, you've got to push the machine to the right at exactly the right moment, similar way you would on some of the early 80s ballets that have this feature. Wasn't able to pull that off. We did earn an extra ball from getting enough trophies during that uh, challenge multi-ball. So we got basically a fourth ball here to play around with and see how we do. Got the super skill shot, so the 2x play field multiplier is ready. And we are only one away from the street challenge. Uh, I think we want to go here for the garage. Oh, that started the street challenge, of course, sorry. So I guess I cannot do I cannot do that. I can only just go and start the street challenge. That makes sense. Bonus. Bye. No limits. And then watching your watching your list to to know how many shots do I need and which which challenge would I want to start next? Playing one challenge is, is just not that worth it, worth it. You make jackpots, they're, they're, they're rinky-dink jackpots compared to real ones. And that's, it's on purpose. It's not, not a mistake that you can't earn very much during a single ah, double Drano. That was a very good score there. And uh, full throttle, just outstanding game. Lots of fast flow, lots of uh, high scoring potential. And yeah, I think we're gonna call it on this. We'll revisit Full Throttle again when um, it's uh, completed by software. You can tell here it's very complete already, but there are some objectives that they haven't yet added to the machine. Uh, special thanks to Highway Pinball for allowing us to have one of the earliest Full Throttles in the United States to play here at uh, Papa Headquarters. And if you find one of these on location, get on it because it is fantastic. Thanks for watching.